What's going on guys, welcome back to the most realist and consistent content on YouTube. Literally, I show you guys the uptrend, the downtrends, if you could go bullish or bearish, because that's what you guys need to see and need to hear, okay? And it's consistent because we get two videos every single day, and it's going to be more, 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 more videos as the channel grows. A big thank you to you guys smashing that like when videos like button yesterday. We're over 750 views. It says about 699 on the chart, but on my actual YouTube studio, it says over 700. So thank you so, so much. Honestly, I woke up and I was like, whoa, 700. Like the Litecoin family has been going crazy. So big thank you to you guys smashing that like button. Let's see if we can beat that today. It's going to be very difficult, but let's see if we can. If you guys want to see what I'm doing, what I'm up to in the, uh, the Patreon, you get all the, all the information. Like if you guys say to me, what's happening with Litecoin the hourly, I'll literally make a separate picture of the chart on the hourly. And I'll start to actually check it out for you, do analysis, see if we're going up or down, and I'll do a full explanation for it. So you guys get a full education there. You guys get a lot of posts throughout the day with different cryptos. So you guys learn different cryptos, how they move, how they actually go in waves. So it's a big thing to you guys, and you get the signals as well. So if you guys are looking for crypto education at a very cheap price, not even 80 cents a day, then down below is where you should check. I will be increasing price, not soon, in a few months, definitely. So if you do, guys, do you want to actually test it out? Now is the time to test it out. Big thank you, guys. Smash the like button. Smash it again. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, um, thank you so, so much, guys, honestly. But what can we see? We can see here that we actually have this left shoulder, this head, and this potential right shoulder forming. Um, this right shoulder, even though it's like, it, it is good that we need to form it, if we fall below this actual um, resistance line, right, support line right here, sorry, we could actually be struggled to get above it. You've got to bear that in mind. So we could actually break below it and then start coming back down. That could be like the um, the bull trap. you got to understand because a lot of people like to enter on MSB. So market structure breakout. So that means that you come out here, come back down, come back up, and then you enter the trade about here. So like that's what I call it, MSB. But I usually enter in P MSB. So oops. So say the right shoulder is here. Um, I'll enter right here as the right shoulder is being formed. Okay. So pre-market structure breakout. So it basically gives the biggest amount of risk to reward. Like if you enter here, let's say you get literally about a one to two, so you get double your money. If you enter here, you get like a one to five, one to six. So you six X your money every, and I used to do that every day. Right now you can't do these trades because of how volatile the market is. In Forex you still can, and I post Forex trades, but as of right now you have to be very careful with scrum, cryptocurrency. But yeah, you get Forex, um, altcoin trades on Binance, and Litecoin and Bitcoin trade obviously um, in the Patreon so check that out down below guys go on smash it I know you want to um, but yeah so this is what, this is what I'm looking at closely I do think we need to see another test down here um, because this cluster wasn't enough for me it, yeah it was like a lot of a lot of tension it built up we need a big move up or down I said that um, but obviously we got it up I didn't expect it to be up I thought if we got it up it would be literally to potentially the EMAs and then come down so we, I think right now we're just getting rallied by retail traders not wanting to actually see that FOMO. Um, what you can see here is identical to the left. So this could be an institutional dump and an institutional pump. So they're waiting for retail traders to pump it up to here. Then they're going to dump again. That's what you got to look out for. That's how hedge funds trade. I was taught to trade like a hedge fund. Like literally guys, I was taught to trade like a hedge fund. That's how they trade. That's how they make money instantly. That's how they actually get a quick return to their um, investors. They f create artificial pumps and artificial dumps. And then they dump it more, and then retail traders dump it more. And before you know it, we're at seventy dollars per Litecoin. And then they're buying in here, and they'll pump it to here, and they'll sell for a massive forty percent gain. And then they'll do the same again. And then until they're happy with the price, and their other banks say to them, "Okay, you know what? This is a good price. Let's just hold from here." And they buy everything they got here, and they ride it all the way up for twenty x gains. That's how hedge funds do it, guys. Like they're all partnered with one one another. They move in waves. They don't do it individually. They move as a team. As I say to you, we got to work as a team and smash that like button. Okay, sorry, but but um, but um, no, seriously, like this is what I'm, that's what I do think is going to happen. Like if we go to the weekly as well, you can you can kind of see, like back below here when we actually had this major pump, we came up, tested, came up, tested, came up, wick down and then pumped. Back down here, we tested multiple times, one, two, three, then got a pump. Back down here, we came down for a little pump, but over here we just got one. And then a pump. That's not what we need. Like, I think we could just be testing the EMAs right here. I know this chart is a bit, um, you know, it's like very, it's not, it's a bit messy. But you can see here that we're going to, I think we're just testing these EMAs before we're actually dropping further. That's what I do believe. 
Like, there's not much I can show you on the actual, on a cleaner chart. LTC USD. If we go to this one, for example, oh, that is my thingy. My um. So if we go to this one. That's, that was that was my what's it called, guys? My thumbnail one. Let's go to here. And if I show you this, okay, like genuinely, if I show you this, you can see that it's following the exact same pattern that Amazon did for the bubble, right? And we broke we broke down. And Amazon did this, okay? So Amazon had the same pattern, but obviously like, on Bitcoin it's much better. Like, Amazon like, had two double tops up here. And then when it broke down, it came up to retest about this level. It broke back in to retest. And then it just collided down. And then it came back up to test this level, broke above it, and then came back down. And then it went back up to test this level, met with it, and fell down. And it didn't go this low. It obviously went to about here, like just to these lows. And then it obviously started to shoot off. And now look at Amazon. So if you did buy the dip continuously, you would definitely be a millionaire in Amazon. Like, it's not a joke. That's what you would be. And that is the same potential we're having with cryptocurrencies right now. That's why I'm not holding a 100% bag in crypto right now. Because I know something big is going to play. Um, typically, every two years. Okay, so this is the insight, you guys. I do a lot of research in the finance. Because I obviously am invested in finance. I've got businesses in finance. And... What's important for me to know, like you get all this insight in the Patreon, guys, like every day. So if you just have to ask me the questions and I just come out with it. So like you got to understand that when we usually do um, increase our interest rates and stuff, so like you know, if we decrease to 0% for the pandemic or for the 07, typically a year or two after we increase rates and the stock market tends to do go like this. So it's like this for the past few years and then it goes like that. Okay, because... The Fed and the government need to get their money back from giving 0% interest somehow. And they do it by lowering economic strength. Okay, So people have to borrow more, pay more money to borrow more money. So the government's debt decreases slowly. Okay, And then slowly with time, we slowly get back up. Okay, That's why it's, it's the best investment over a long period of time. Because we do get 0%, but then we do have to increase rates to 2% on average. Okay. The government this time, they're starting to increase rates. So what's going to happen? What's already looking to happen? This, this decrease in the stock market is going to happen before we actually see that big rise up. So buying down here and being patient will actually be the biggest buy of a lifetime. Okay, and I do mean that. I'm saying this to you genuinely, okay? I could keep this information to myself if I was greedy. I'm not. I want to share it with you guys. That's why I say join the Patreon. I'm not just saying it, join the Patreon, join the Patreon. I'm saying it because everyone who joined the Patreon has got massive value from it. They all love it. They're all really happy with it, and they're all enjoying it. So there must be a reason why they're enjoying it. Like you can see here with Litecoin, we're testing these major actual resistances up here. Like if I if I put a horizontal line from here, um, horizontal ray, let's do right from here. You can see it. Oh, I don't want. I don't like that. Let's make this a line, and let's make it. Let's make it. Um, what color should we make it? Let's make it teal. Okay. So you can see that like right now it's very dangerous because. I do see a potential decrease in the markets, especially with small caps usually tend to go first. The small companies start to fall first, which you've seen, Peloton, Netflix, etc. And now the big companies, Facebook, Amazon taking a hit, could be seeing a decrease. It's just my opinion, guys, but that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I'm still holding Litecoin, but just not that much of it. Uh, not that much as I was holding down here, no way, no way. But I do tell my Patreon just when I'm selling and how much I'm selling, just so they're still in the mix. If you guys do want to join, that's where you should be. Um, you could see a potential thingy from here. You can see a potential. Okay, yeah, I can't freehand with this mouse. It is, it is a bit stressful. But um, you can see here, we're getting stopped here as well. Um, you can actually zoom out of this as well. And you can see that this is literally a very nice. I'm not going to do it from here. I'm going to do it from here. Um, it's pretty nice um, descending channel. This typically would break to the upside. You would go down to here and then just like pump straight out of it like to the moon. Probably about this at this. No, probably it'll be a bit lower than this. It'll be about to here. Yeah, because that is where the target is. It's usually the same target over there. So that's where we would actually typically break out to. But if we do fall, guys, there's that's a lot of sentiment to actually break and actually flip bearish, okay? Because everyone's expecting a break here, guys. Remember that everyone's expecting a break. You gotta think ahead, okay? You gotta think ahead. Don't think alike um, with retail trade. Don't think what your friend's gonna think. No, try and think what they're not thinking. That, and obviously, as you guys can see, that's, that's literally all I do. Like I, I, I'm literally thinking opposite of what everyone's thinking. And I called um, this head and shoulders here, and we dropped. We dropped majorly. We took a massive profit in that. 
I called the dips between here. We made a major profit. The one I didn't, I put a short trade here yesterday, and obviously stop loss was here. That's the one trade that we actually messed up, messed up on. But all these gains completely outweighed that. We could have made 20 times that loss and still be in the profit. So that like that's how you want to trade, guys. That's how you want to trade. You want to learn risk to reward ratio? Join the Patreon and learn like our other patrons. There's some people there that I've never traded before and they're understanding the gist of it. They're starting to learn it. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Please smash that like button. Let's get this channel booming so I can do giveaways for the patrons and start doing giveaways for you guys as well. Big thank you guys for watching. You are my everything. Literally, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. And I'm so thankful, honestly. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.